Hello, my name is Hope Kaya of Santa Fe Web Design, connecting you with your customers. This tutorial will give you a lot of power in finding out what people are searching into Google already who might want what you have. And this is a free tool we're going to use. It's the Google AdWords Keyword Tool, and you don't have to have an AdWords account. You don't even have to have a Google account to use it. Uh, and you'll get some incredible information. In order to get there, go to type in Google AdWords Keyword Tool into Google. And as of today, this second link is the fastest way to get there. But whenever you do this, I'm sure the first link will get you there. And here you are. You're, you're going to look at a page like this and see this text field where you can type in your ideas for what you think people might be typing into Google who might want what you have. My customer has a gallery of custom homes on his website and we're wondering what people are typing in. So I'm going to check this key phrase, custom home pictures, and I'm going to check custom home gallery and custom home photos. You can do as many as you want and the more the better because you'll get a lot of information you can use every time you work with this tool. And then you click get more keywords. And we'll scroll down and we'll see that there are four columns. The first one is the keywords. So custom home pictures is listed here which means people are typing it in but when you put your cursor over the first column which represents the search volume over this little graphic it tells you it's very low search volume still don't ignore it because it means people are typing it in and if you're like my customer who is a regional uh, you know freelancer basically he doesn't need thousands of people if he can reach all the people that are typing custom home pictures into Google he'd be very happy okay um, then you look over at the next column and it says very low advertiser competition that's great right that means that not that many pages come up when you type custom home pictures into Google. It means that you have a chance to compete for page one of Google, right? So, but we're going to go down to the next one, which is custom home photos, and it has maybe 25% more people searching. It's low, but still, once again, this is not somebody that needs millions of hits or wants millions of hits. And then the competition is still very low. This is the perfect situation. You want more searchers than competition, and ideally you want the competition, this little graphic, to be blank for the competition. You can click on Add here, and you'll see up at the top that it adds that phrase. You can continue adding them, and then you can download them for Excel or text or comma separated. The disadvantage to this is it doesn't give you the search volume or the advertiser competition. So I don't use this. I print these out and I make sure that my printer dialog box says that it's going to print the background colors. Otherwise you don't get these graphic representations which are the real value here. But we're just going to remember that custom home photos is our favorite. I have been through this whole page and I happen to know and a lot of these have, have, well, like, look here, image gallery, right? Well, that would be way too general for him. And it's got average search volume and very high advertiser competition. Now, you might say it's got 50% more searchers. Why not use it? But if you've got huge competition, forget it. You know, unless you're, you've got a big budget to compete with web marketing, you can just use this tool as a very quick way of seeing what your chances are for easily beating, you know, the, uh, the competition. All right, so we're remembering, as I said, custom home photos, and we're going to go into Dreamweaver, and we're going to see how to use them. This is my client's website, who, and this is his page where he's showing the custom homes that he's done. And before I go deep into here, I'm going to show you another aspect of Google. If you were to type Santa Fe Web Design into Google and search, my website shows up here. And you can see that it says Santa Fe Web Design with search engines in mind. 
and that is the link that you click on. When you click on it and you go to the top of your browser, you see the same exact text, Santa Fe Web Design with search engines in mind. If you choose, choose View Source, you look at the title tag. This is called the title tag. You'll see that that's the exact text that you've been looking at at the top of your browser and in the Google link. So search engines like this tag more than any other tag at this point. So you must put your keyword in the title tag as I've done here. Santa Fe Web Design is my keyword and it's also my business name and that's ideal if you can do that. Um, and then also look down here where it says meta keywords and you'll be putting your keywords in there comma separated and you'll tell your you'll tell your web designer about that and I'll talk more about that in a minute and the meta description and look at this it says Santa Fe web designer hope Ostheimer or Kaya provides etc now if we close this that sentence that I just read does not show up on the website itself but if we go back to Google and we look here under the link, it shows up here. Santa Fe Web Designer, Hope, Ostheimer, Kaya, etc. Okay, search engines pay close attention to this descriptive meta tag. Okay, back into Dreamweaver. Your web designer is going to know how to do what I'm telling you now. And basically, all you have to know is to tell your web designer that you want this text for the title tag, this text for all the different places that I'm about to show you now. And basically this is just the beginning, okay? But it will get you started. All right, so if you look here at the title tag for the gallery, we have John's name, we have one of the keywords we're doing for him, Santa Fe Home Builder, and then we have custom home photos, all right? Custom home photos is the phrase we have learned through Google AdWords Keyword Tool that is the best, all right? So, then we, we've, we've found, we've put it in the title tag, which is really important. And then there are these two other meta tags. And if you click here on the descriptive meta tag, you'll see the text I wrote. See these lovely custom home photos, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, using the keywords. And then if you go to the keyword tag by clicking on the key, you get once again the keywords that we're focusing on for this page. Now, in addition to those, there are a lot of images on here, and each image has what's called an alt tag. And alt tags are designed for accessibility, essentially. If someone has uh, low vision, they may have set their browser or computer to read the text to them, and they won't, won't be seeing these images. The only thing they get is the alt tag text that you've typed into this field or your web designer. So you want to be thinking about something descriptive there for the person who's listening, but also use keywords whenever possible because the search engines do read this. So each of these, many of these have custom home photo in them. In this case, it was a, um, just numbering them with that key phrase. And also here, if you look at John Hansen Custom Home Photos, you'll see that it's a heading one, which is an H1 tag. In fact, if we look at the code for that, you can see that it's this John Hansen Custom Home Photos has H1 at the you know tag as opening and closing. This tells you it's an H1 tag. And that is another place that search engines look a lot. So these are just a few of the basic ways to get these powerful keywords onto your website and to use them. There are a lot more ways. This is the tip of the tip of the iceberg, but if your competition is really low, like you're, you're just regional and you don't have a lot of competition or your competition doesn't know anything about web marketing, your chances are good to, if you just do some of these things. However, if you want more information, I recommend going to santafe-webdesign.com and buying the keyword tutorial, which is a PDF I've written, and it will allow you to print out pages 
which you can use over and over again to prepare your keywords, prepare your page content for your web designer, uh, decide on the best keywords, analyze the competition if you like, but basically go into much more depth with, with really rich descriptions inside. So please come to my website and visit and email me, hope at santafe-webdesign.com. I would love to hear from you.